All right, well, I figure maybe it's a good time for an update on the 3D printed bike. Really not much to uh, update on because it's going good. I've got over 100 miles on this thing now and uh, yeah, no signs of any uh, trauma or cracking anywhere on any of the printed parts. some mud there that's not cool <laughs> somebody pointed out in one of my videos that there is a crack here however that was a crack from uh, assembly a lot of uh, you know fitting and refitting and um, and it's filled it all in with epoxy so it's just this little piece here so I don't think that's really a problem uh, everything else is uh, yeah looking great I redid the uh, brake cable on here. This uh, stuff is much more flexible than the housing that I was using, so my handling is much improved because the stuff is so stiff it was limiting how, how well I could steer. I do notice some flexing in the frame um, from this top tube here. This is a little bit too narrow, uh, so I want that to be a larger diameter. I put these larger platform pedals on here because I'm just riding this thing in tennis shoes so that uh, th those work a little bit better. So like I said from the beginning, I'm not out here crushing it on this bike. I'm not doing like sprints or hard intervals or bombing descents or anything. But I'm not exactly babying it either. And you know, I'm popping off of curbs and not afraid to ro roll on bumpy roads. I even took it off-roading for a short bit, but then that became not really rideable. I had to walk. but. Um, so anyways, yeah, it, it's uh, it's a bike, you know, it's not um, it, it's not going to uh, win any races, but uh, it seems like the durability is, is good enough for the type of riding that uh, it's intended for. Another shout out, this uh, SRAM 11 speed NX mountain bike derailleur and matching shifter are working perfectly, like click shift, click shift every time. It was like literally the cheapest shifter and uh, derailleur combo that I could get that I could find uh, and it's been great I'm super happy with it that uh, that worked out and it's exactly what I need so happy with that so that's it the bike is great it's super fun to ride I've started working on a what I'm calling version 1.0 this will be like the beta <laughs> a version 1.0 uh, with the intention of a public release as an open source project. There was a little bit of interest from people wanting to build their own and so one of the main changes I'm going to make is change all the tubing sizes to standard commercially available sizes so that you can actually source the tubes so you can build the frame. So stay tuned for that. I'll do a uh, thorough video on all of the changes and the work being done and work that I still want to do and um, uh, so look forward to that video pretty soon also want to do a couple new sizes this is only a small size I need a medium and a large but first we need to do the version 1.0 design which will incorporate the changes that are necessary then I can work on the next sizes